benvenuti su Cometa Rossa, siamo in compagnia di Kikagaku Mojo. Hi guys! Hello! Uh, welcome to Avellino. Uh, yesterday you should have played at Mass Fest, but we've been a little bit unlucky because all the rain came down. But today you're going to play here at the Godot Art Bistro. Uh, tell me something about us and about your, your music. So, uh, what about playing here in Italy? Um. <laughs> about music, yeah. our music? Yes. So we have five people and we all live together in the same house in Tokyo. And our music can be different. And for, for this set, we still haven't decided what we're going to play. So, really? yeah. So it, it will be a surprise for everybody. Yeah, surprise for <laughs> even us. Yeah, sometimes we just uh, decide the songs when we play the show. Like we don't know like which play, we, yeah, which song we're going to play next. We just decide on the stage because we have a lot of improvisation part. So sometimes you know, if I decide the set list before the show. And when we start playing, like kind of, you know, I feel differently than what yes. I play. So, songs. yeah. So every show is different. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And for Italy, this is our second show. Okay. Italy, and we play only like DIY festival, yeah. and we really like it. Like people are really nice, and um, they are trying to do something without any like big like support from company or anything like that they are like and many age people from different age group are like participating in one event and i think it's really cool it's cool yeah and then where you're going to play uh yes here in italy uh sardinia yeah. yes um, is a duna jam it's like a private party festival in sardinia Yes, what do you think about do it, do it yourself? I totally support, support, <laughs> yeah. And are you doing your works uh, alone or there's someone who helps you to record and distribute for the distribution of your albums? Um, we record um, in Japan with this one engineer. But uh, for distribution, uh, each record has a label, so they do it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what is uh, your uh, your label, or what are your uh, your labels? Um, Japanese. No, no. no American. American. Um, one is called Captcha, Captcha Records, and the other one is called Beyond. Beyond is Beyond from New York, Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh, I've read in an interview that um, busking was very important for you and for your music. Is it true? Yeah, it's yeah. true. We play a lot on the street yeah. or like in front of the station where we live. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, we can play the music and people need to, people have to listen to that because people have to, you know, just pass through in front of us and always different people, sometimes hobos and sometimes crazy people and Sometimes just people just join us, play music. It's, it's a really good experience, especially in terms of improvisation. Like. And uh, where do you like to write your music and to record? Um, because I've read that some of your music was written on the mountains, for example. Is it true? Yeah. Um, since we live in a big city, Sometimes we need to get out from, escape from, you know, the big people, sorts of people, and then, yeah, we sometimes go to a mountain or camping, so, camping and just try to make songs and just refresh and just get inspire, inspiration from other things, yeah. And so, <coughs> nature is inspiring for you yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And what are what other things can inspire your music? Uh, anything that we think it's beautiful or surprising, 
any like like art that we see or like scenery and or people who we met on the road on this tour um, if we meet someone who is really energetic yeah. and then we feel like okay, okay. yeah Maybe like I inspired struggle to like so busy town in Tokyo Tokyo is really busy so many people living there we can all make a lot of noise in the house you know so many restriction that makes us somehow like kind of productive yeah. to make songs and we are always under the pressure like social pressure and and so much stuff going on in Tokyo so that's good to have some kind of for us at least to have some kind of stress in order to be creative yeah and uh, what about the music that inspires you um, yeah for example there's something in your music of crowd rock or psychedelic and maybe space rock too yeah um, we all listen to different kinds of music um, some of us listen to black metal some of us listen to folk some of us listen to like soul or funk funk everywhere is different but um, that's kind of good because we never sound like one thing we always get different ideas from different kind of music so not something particular but we like like 70s music from all over the world like especially when we make songs like the idea from like anyone is like really different so basses make like more like experimental like black metal like you know things I really like folk music so it's so like it's you know like melody can be like really folky and we, yeah, flowery and so. stuff. That's good. That's good, yeah. And what about your uh, your albums? So you've made an EP and um, it's a self-titled EP. And then there's Mamutu's Clouds and then Forest of Lost Children. Yeah, can you tell us something about this? Uh, yes, these albums. So, <coughs> self titled was our first record. Um, we recorded as our demo. So that was like, we never done the recording before. Yeah. Before that, and we recorded um, like one day. And we, we put- You didn't even know that, like our song goes. So it's like, we just kind of made the songs during the recording too. And, and the second, Mamata's Crowd was uh, more conceptual. It's, that was uh, improvisation that we are influenced by this book about sh shaman and shamanism. And then we were trying to seek for our like, power animal <laughs> during the show. And that was, that was what we are doing on the record. Yeah. So every, everybody was trying to see like you know my power animal like like trying to really focus and then like play music and live show and we thought that effect is going to be really interesting so, like, so there's uh, some sort of um, spirit um, influence yeah. like from like any kind yeah and what about uh, the forest? That, that's something that we read. That was like maybe like only one album that we really actually like try to make songs. Yeah. Like we did, we all work on the composition of the song structure and everything. But still, within the album, we still have like improvisation part, which we can freely like express ourselves yeah yeah and was the lineup all the same or changed did it change during lineup. the years lineup for Ben yeah of the band. Um, yeah first when we started just two of us and then yeah it's been adding and sometimes we get a guest um, singer she's a uh, Venezuelan and you can hear on First of all, she's speaking uh, Spanish, uh, singing in Spanish. Yeah. 
what about the future things? What are you going to do? New albums? Yeah. Um, and where are you going to tour? Um, right after this tour, we are planning to do recording in Japan, and hopefully we can finish the recording within this year. Um, next year we want to release earlier, maybe spring, and then we will do U.S. tour. Yeah, that's close yeah. plan. Yeah, and maybe next summer Europe tour. Hopefully, but not sure yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You. Uh, we can't wait to see you on stage. So let's have fun together. Bye bye. Thank you very much.